Gladiator Beast fans rejoice. Wow, this is nuts, guys. We finally got the Gladiator Beast stuff revealed. We knew about it when we saw the uh, posters, I guess, from in Japan in a couple of uh, uh, OCG stores. And now we're finally getting shown what the cards do and what the cards are. And it's pretty good, honestly. If you're a Gladiator Beast fan and you were kind of like, ah, it's probably going to suck, it's Glad Beast. They're actually pretty nice. It definitely is, makes the deck way better. I'm not sure about if the deck is good, but it's definitely going to be a fun deck to play. Definitely more now. At least I think it should be able to play a little easier now. So uh, let's hop into it. I don't want to waste too much time. we got 10 cards to go through. 10. Wild. All right, we'll start with the monsters. So we've got Gladiol. Gladiol? Is that just the translation? Okay, so Gladiator Beast uh, Sagittari. Um, it's a level 3 wind wing beast effect monster. And he has 1,400 attack and 1,000 defense. <laughs> and his first effect reads like this. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, you can discard one Gladiator Beast card to draw two cards. Pretty good. All right, you know. Um, there's not really much draw power for Gladiator Beasts. I don't think they have any draw cards. And uh, this is a card that like like uh, helps you cycle through your deck, but also uh, just get at rid of a Gladiator Beast that's extra in your hand. Like... The deck's pretty normal summon reliant, so maybe if you drew multiple of the ones that you'd be normal summoning, this guy may be the guy you want to go into. Just take a chance at drawing two. It's a straight up plus one. Maybe you draw into some spell and traps to protect yourself, and then you go from there. But the card's pretty cool. I think it's fine. I think it's at least a one of, for sure. Um, maybe multiples? I don't really know. I don't, maybe not, probably not multiples, but still pretty solid altogether. Next we have Gladiator Beast Atrix, a level 4 Earth Beast Warrior effect monster with 800 attack and 200 defense. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster... Oh, also, I didn't say. Um, Sagittari has the same tag out effect that all Gladiator Beasts do at the end of the battle phase. If it has battled but it's not destroyed, you can shuffle it into the deck and then special summon another Gladiator Beast monster uh, with a different name. Pretty cool. Um, then we go to Atrix. So, if she's special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, you can send one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard, except for itself. Uh, and then until the end phase, this card's level and name become that monster's. Um, uh, and then also has that same tag out effect. Um, I actually like this. So, uh, if you didn't know, back in the day, uh, people used to play Elemental Hero Prisma in Gladiator Beast because it could just make itself... Um, become Bestiari or another um, Gladiator Beast that you're trying to go into, and then you can contact Fuse with it. It's just it was just there for consistency and also uh, power in some regards, especially with a hero lives, and it just made for like some really strong plays at the time. And this is essentially an in archetype version of that. Not only can you special it out by your other Gladiator Beast, but then you send and then you can make it whatever one you need for that instance. That if you need that specific name, you need Bestiari to go into guys Zerus. I think Bestiari goes into Zerus. If you need um, I don't know, Laquari to go into uh, Heraclinos, and, or whatever you need, she can be it, which is pretty solid. Uh, I wish it actually gained the attack. I guess that doesn't matter, right? Because she'd be special summon. I guess there are ways, yeah, there are. There are ways to special summon her uh, before the battle phase, and then you could just make her attack buff, and then she could tag out. Whatever. I mean, I guess it's not super relevant, but uh, she's cool. She's cool. And 2,000 defense is not bad either. If you're special summoning her at the end of the battle phase, get her in defense, and then also full or something, that's pretty solid. 2,000 defense. Then we'll move to Gladiator Beast Vespacious, one of my favorite cards out of all this new support. Uh, he's a level 7 Sea Serpent Water uh, with 2,300 attack, 0 defense. So pretty big boy. Uh, the first effect is a hard one's return. If your Gladiator Beast monster battles a monster, then at the start of the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Pretty nice, okay? Pretty nice, pretty nice. Pretty easy to get out. You're trying. You're probably going to be getting that like every turn. Um, second effect says, well, this card that was special summoned by a Gladiator Beast monster effect is in your monster zone. Monsters you control gain 500 attack. That's all monsters. And also keep in mind, the way this is worded, I assume it does include his own effect, so that if you just use that first effect to get him out, he's going to make himself 2800, and the monster he's uh, that he was attacking when you special summon him uh, give a 500 boost as well, um, which is pretty cool. 
And then a third effect at the end of the battle phase. If this card battled, shuffle it in the deck, push summon another gladiator beast. The same stuff we've seen. He's just really nice. He's nice for just getting out extra gladiator beast monsters in the same turn uh, while also putting out a big monster that's going to be able to tag out and buffing everything else in the process, making stuff that's like mediocre uh, in terms of stats like Sagittari being 1400, actually 1900. And then it's probably getting over something at that point, um, which is pretty cool. There, and then we move to the extra deck monsters. So we'll start with Gladiator Beast Domit Dom Domitianus. <laughs> oh God, I really hope it's not. I really Dom Domitianus. Uh, we're gonna we're not gonna say Domitianus. That's not how it works. That's no way. That's it. Uh, it's a level ten Dark Sea Serpent Fusion Effect monster. This one clearly kind of corresponds to Vespacious being a giant uh, sea serpent. Uh, has 3,500 attack and 1,200 defense. Uh, its materials are Vespacious and two Gladiator Beast monsters. Um, it must be Fusion Summon, Special Summon for your extra deck by shuffling the above cards you control into the deck. You do not use Palmerization to make him. So it's nice. Essentially a Link monster, but doesn't have Link's arrows. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Amazing! That's a really good effect, especially built into a 3,500 beat stick. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good. Uh, second effect says you choose the attack targets for your opponent's attacks. Uh, I guess that's relevant. Uh, if you end up with other monsters on the field other than him, you can just force your opponent, floodgate your opponent's battle phase into himself so that they're just attacking into a 3,500 monster and punish him like that. Um, just fine, not amazing, but okay. And then at the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you can turn it to the extra to special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck. Now this, I really wish this was two, special summon two. Cause like, I feel like one's kind of brutal. Like it makes you want to never use that effect ever, right? Um, if it was two though, then maybe I'm thinking about it. Cause maybe I'm going into like Mermillo, uh, Bestiari to pop two things. Maybe I'm going into Sagittari to draw one. Um, you know, with some like a combination of two, but with one, like you're never gonna tr be wanting to tag out with this card. Like I just feel like you'll never want to. Um, but anyway, he's still good. If you can make him going first, it's actually nuts. Like that's actually so good if you can make him going first, because uh, you're just negating any monster effect, and he's a 3500 beater. Can be problematic to out uh, for certain decks. Now, for probably the best card out of all the support, we have Test Panther. This, I guess, is the Link equivalent to Test Tiger, another very good card in the archetype. Uh, it's just unsearchable. And I wish they had a way to search it, but we don't have it here, which is fine, um, but still. So, we have Test Panther here, a Link to Earth Beast Link Effect Monster with 800 attack. Its arrows are bottom left and down. Um, and its materials are two monsters, including at least one Gladiator Beast monster. Both of those effects are hard once per turns. If this card is Link Summoned, you can add one Gladiator Beast card from your deck to your hand. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. Right on Link Summon, you just search any Gladiator Beast card. Keep in mind that's card, so you can literally search, like, this guy and Special Summon him. Um search a uh, speller trap you can search war chariot which is the counter trap the deck already has you can search proving ground which is just going to search you another card uh if, if you want to thin your deck a little bit you just search literally anything you search a test tiger drop test tiger out of the hand i think you can do that um actually maybe you won't i'm not sure um but it's just it's pretty good no, no joke it's actually pretty good uh, and its second effect is a tag out effect but it doesn't use the battle phase, which is actually very good as well. You can target one Gladiator Beast monster you control. That can be itself. Return it to the uh, to the deck, and if you do, special summon from your deck one Gladiator Beast monster with an original name different from the return monsters, as if it were special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster. Whoa, sorry, it's a little early for me. Um, different from the return monsters that were special summoned by a Gladiator Beast monster. So, pretty good. It kind of has that, su not, not pseudo, but it has a, a Test Tiger-esque effect. You can tag out itself just to get another one. Keep in mind, you can literally just summon, like, um, Darius. And because you linked monsters away from it, Darius will just survive one, and then you have two monsters on field again. Make, you know, 
contact throughs again, whatever you want, right? Um, so this uh, this card's really good. This is probably the best card out of all the cards in this in this whole ten card stuff. So let's go. This card's so good. The only thing about it is it is eight hundred attack, very very weak. But I guess it's fine because you can tag up before the battle phase. So you're probably going to be doing that more often than not. Next up, we have Gladiator Beast Comeback, a, uh, a normal spell card where you can uh, special summon from your hand or graveyard one Gladiator Beast monster with a different type from the monsters you control, and if you do, uh, it cannot be destroyed by battle. I like this card a lot, actually. I'm not sure how much you'll, how many you'll play this card at. It is not a once per turn, which is actually pretty important, because if you could just make the Link 2 and you open two of these, you'll just special summon two from Grave as well. And they're indestructible by battle, then you go into battle phase, bing bing, do the business, and you're good to go. Um, but it's pretty good. I, I, I do enjoy the fact that it does special summon from hand, um, making it so cards like um, Augustus, a card people might you might, might might be playing, and also this guy, if turn one you cannot get him out because you don't have a battle phase, uh, maybe you can just drop him out and then make some link plays, you know, do what you gotta do. That could be pretty good. Um, and then just the, the indestructible ability by battle is actually so nice. I mean, it's not amazing, but for Glad Beast, that's a nice little effect to throw in there. And yeah, it's searchable. So maybe sometimes you'll be searching it off of him because you can literally make him search that, get an extra monster on board for free, tag this one out, and then extend from there. It can be pretty good there. Then we have a third card, a quick play, or not third, third card, what, second spell, uh, a quick play spell called United Gladiator Beast um, that says you can only activate a card with this card's name once per turn, and during the turn this card is activated, you can't declare attacks, except with Gladiator Beast. Totally fine, not a bad restriction at all for the deck you're playing. During the battle phase, shuffle into the deck from your hand, field, or graveyard fusion materials listed on a Gladiator Beast fusion monster. Then special summon that fusion monster from your extra decks, ignoring its summoning condition. So one thing that I really love about this card is that it shuffles from field, hand field, or graveyard. Uh, so this card combined with like Test Panther is actually pretty good. You could literally just um, like make Test Panther search this, uh, use this to banish two of your guys from your graveyard that you used a link for it, and then pop, or not pop, but like if you, as long as you had like Bestiari in there, you're just like gonna pop uh, two cards, and then you've got a 2400 beat stick, you go into the battle phase, you tag it out for two more, pop some more stuff, draw some cards, whatever you want to do. Um, it's pretty good. I think this card seems pretty decent. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how, like, uh, this is one of those cards where, like, in theory, it seems like it's actually decent, but we'll definitely have to see in practice how good it ends up being. It definitely is super nice, though, that you do get to shuffle from graveyard as well as hand and field um, to activate it, right? So... Um, we'll see about this card, but I do think it seems de de really solid in theory. Then we have a continuous spell card called Gladiator Rejection. Um, you can only activate the second effect of this card once per turn. First effect says Gladiator Beast monsters you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects except during the battle phase. So uh, just before you get there, it's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, Test Panther does not count as a Gladiator Beast monster, so it still can be... Uh, hand trapped and stuff can be veilered and permanenced, ogred, all those still work on it, which is kind of whatever, but this is still okay protection. Uh, then the second effect says uh, if a gladiator beast monster is special summoned from your deck, you can special summon from your deck in defense position one gladiator beast monster with a type different from the monsters you control. Keep in mind, this does not count as being special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster. It does not have that stipulation here. Maybe uh, in translation that will be included, that just like uh, Test Panther, it'll say specifically, like, this counts as being special summoned with a uh, Gladiator Beast. Otherwise, you don't get your effect, and it makes this card much less Im impactful. I feel like the, the pluses and, like, removal you get off of special summoning your guys, like, is so important. But this card just... Oh, last. <laughs> uh, even though it does get you an extra monster on board, like you're trading a one for one, right? In that instance, because you're just getting this guy out. It's hard on returns. You have to try and do this every turn. Easier said than done. Um, 
So one, this has to live, and at like you're gonna try and at least get a one for one with it, and if it lives, then maybe you get a two for one on the next turn. I feel like this card is just not good enough overall to um, really warrant playing it. I feel like this is one of the more underwhelming cards. Then we'll move to the traps. We have uh, Mad Gladiator Beast, uh, which is a normal trap card. Pretty spicy trap trick target. I don't know. <laughs> target face up cards on the field up to the number of different Gladiator Beast monsters you control and destroy them. Uh, I really like this card. Um, I think this card's really solid. Even if you just control one Gladiator Beast, you're just like one trading one for one, simplifying the game state so that your opponent is going to be forced to go. Uh, either to use their battle phase or just to opt out of battle phase to do anything and just kind of like pass like that. So um, this card is really, really solid, especially if you can put two, three Gladiator Beasts on the board, pop three, pretty good. Um, yeah, and like really like this card. I, I also love that unlike um, Icarus Attack, you don't actually tribute your monster. You keep your monster. You just are just wiping stuff depending on how many you control. Really, really good. I like this card a lot. Um, and the last card here is Gladiator Num Numatia. Hmm, weird. Uh, yeah. It's a continuous trap, and while you control a Gladiator Beast monster or monsters, your opponent cannot, uh, must attack, sorry, must attack if able, um, which is okay. Uh, sometimes you don't want your opponent to attack, but that's okay. Um, second effect says once per turn you can shuffle one Gladiator Beast monster from your hand or graveyard into the deck, then target a Gladiator Beast monster you control. Until the end of the turn, that monster gains attack equal to its original defense. Um, that effect seems super mediocre. Like, one, this is a trap card, so, like, so, like, you're doing this, you can't even do this on your first turn. So, if you're going second, this card's, like, not good at all. Um, and you actually kind of like going second in this deck a little bit. So, like, I feel like just overall this card's, like, kind of poo-poo. Yeah. For me, it's just kind of poo. Third effect, if this card is in, uh, if this card in the Spell and Trap Zone is destroyed by a card effect, you can activate this effect for the rest of this turn. Gladiator Beast Monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Garbage! Um, alright, so, overall... I think support's really solid. I think Nalmatia is bad. I think this continuous spell is bad, but I think the other three cards are really solid. This card is the best card we got all day. This guy's a nice new boss monster. If you can make him going first, just negate one monster, that's a 3,500 beater. This guy's really nice for helping turbo out monsters. Uh, this card's nice for making specific plays with specifically named monsters. And this guy's really nice for helping you draw cards. So overall, other than the two continuous cards, I think every card will be played. And I think this stuff legitimately helps Gladiator Beast become like a rogue strategy. We'll see how rogue, if they can actually compete with stuff. But who knows? Maybe if you go second and you get a hand trap or two, you drop one or two hand traps on your opponent, and all you need is like one monster. Attack, trade it, boom, you know. Maybe pop some stuff, maybe extend a little bit, and then go from there. I think it can definitely be a respectable strategy, and I can't wait to see it, what this deck does in the future. But guys, let me know. I know this is a beloved deck. I know there's a lot of fans out there. If you know, I, I am by no means the authority on Gladiator Beast. So if you know more than me, and maybe some of these cards have other applications that I didn't really see, let me know what you think, because uh, I'm really excited to learn more about the deck. I think the deck's super cool, and uh, I'm really excited to see what it does. Uh, but I'm going to get the hell out of here. This deck, this video is really long, but I really want to go in depth because I think this stuff is so cool. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace!